And welcome back here to our blind first playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, we're back here in Skyhaven, as I'll keep calling it. And uh, I got rid of a couple things, uh, just went and sold off some junk. Any talking here? Inquisitor. Inquisitor, that's all I was thinking. Uh, I want to drop off a couple items that I think are higher level that I don't want to sell yet, maybe. Throw them in the trunk here. Then I want to head to the war room, uh, just see where we're at, get some new things started. And then I think it's time for us to do a little bit of companion talk on this playthrough before we jump back into it. Um, I do want to get back to where we were, to that beautiful forest, which I'm blanking on the name of for a moment. But uh, we'll do that shortly. But it has been a three, four, five episodes, something like that, without doing some proper crew companion talk. So I'm going to see what happens with that. Let's go. Let me drop this stuff off quick, though. Okay, so I just basically dumped everything off in there. We're going to come back on a separate run and start playing around with these runes. Um, looks like these sigils, too, they they have a cost-benefit, you know. Um, you got to consider that most of... I know people were saying that a lot of you don't use them, but there's a couple specific ones that might be really good. Um, and I haven't even played around with that, so we should do that. But first here, let's go see. I can't remember what we had that finished up and let's get a couple more started here in the war council moving along nicely here I don't I think we're knocking quite a bit of this out so I see one flashing over on this side truth or dare Lake Celestine Madam Ambassador I would be honored to accept your invitation I shall make arrangements to pay the Inquisition a visit presently as I have been most curious to see your organization for myself Sincerely, Comp Renald de Maurier. So just some influence, no worries. Um, Emerald Graves resources we can go after. Other than that, I think we're set here for a minute. Let's go to the Ferelden side. And we just picked up resources that was just Cullen. Give us some Onyx, why not? And we're going to be happy for that later. Just to have infinite resources when we're finally ready to build something. So, uh, protect the Inquisition's reputation. 30 influence. I'm just going to check that out sometimes. Uh, Dear Lady Montier, Ben Dorner has been rather cool the last few times I met him at dinner, but the attacks on the Inquisition's character have stopped. We even have a few converts impressed by our cause. I will let you know if trouble stirs again, but for now, Starkhaven is the very model of civility. Yours truly, Lady Buttlefort. Yes, and we need Starkhaven. Thorn in our ass, right? Make sure I'm still recording there. There we go. Uh, let's see. Diverting soldiers in the frostbacks. Truth or dare, see and be seen. We have gather herbs, crestwood resources, escape crestwood routes for has agents. Had no further trouble with the undead. After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. Okay, let's strike a bargain with the merchant princes. That looks important. Why not? Uh, Inquisitor, the allied merchants of the monarchy of Antiva have inquired whether they can assist us in any fashion. They could provide us with some of the finest goods in Thedas, a powerful boost to our prestige, and spread our influence north. The merchant princes will also attempt to ensnare us in contracts so convoluted that we will be eternally tied to them. Yes, lovely. So let's not get caught up in those. Uh, if we are, wait, is diary of an economic hitman is what that just made me think of. Uh, if we are interested, we must send our most skilled negotiators. Our diplomats are well respected, and I feel we can come out ahead of the bargain if we are prepared to commit to it. Ambassador Montelier. Yes, well, obviously Josephine is the only one. She says, I will. I have chosen a few dozen diplomats to handle the merchant princes. I will, of course, inspect everything we sign myself. Inquisitor. Right. I'm a little, little leery now to uh, get into that. What is search for the hack writer? Ruffles. First off, you play a mean hand of wicked grace. Second, the lead you dug up for me on finding this Balenforth guy in Kirkwall is starting to show some promise. I got my editor to look around for me. She's a Koteri, Koteri, I can't say right right now, <laughs> uh, boss, so people tell her things whether they want to or not. She tracked down the poor sod carrying the manuscripts out of Kirkwall. This is where it gets weird. The courier is a magistrate, Lord Werner Camring. The coterie won't touch him with a ten-foot pole. Maybe we could have a polite word with them, or that I could have a polite word with him for me? Uh, Varric. Yes, why don't we? But who would polite word? I'm not going to send Cullen. He says he has a friend in the Kirkwall Guard. She might be willing to talk to this magistrate. Which friend in the Kirkwall Guard? 
said Aveline, is she still there? Uh, Leliana, a magistrate courier, has to be in, he has to be involved in something else. Let's find out what. Yeah, I trust her. Let's see what we have. I always trust Leliana on this stuff. I don't know. And then we just have Cullen, um, so we'll we can't do that now because our people are busy. Um, why don't we do? We have a resource one we haven't gather. Co why don't we gather coin? We don't even have to read it. Inquisitor, Just go get us some money while we're playing around. All right, we are out. Let's go have some convos. Let's go talk to people. Let's check in. We probably um. Oh god, I want to get that influence up. We've probably increased some of their like um approvals with us. Oh, I'm just seeing. Yeah, why why it spins out all that information at the end? But let's go, Josephine. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. Oh, now we walk in. Hey, hey. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Delicate. Uh, can I help? Or a dangerous one? Her threat makes no sense. Um, delicate? Uh... Uh, let's say her threat makes no sense. Let's see what she She'll says. She'll have about. us flogged alive. I believe she meant flayed alive. Oh, flayed, yes. Her ladyship tends to confuse metaphors when she's excitable. Okay. But I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Okay. I hope it doesn't wear on you. Uh, that's putting it mildly. Are you excusing her? Well, she has to. Be, she's politic, so uh, I hope it doesn't wear on you. Let's let's give her show her a little concern for her position and her job here dealing with us. Dealing with so many demanding, <laughs> strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor. I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Uh, discuss them with me. I have time. If you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Right on. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Nice. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Beautiful scene. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's coals lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Ah, oh, uh, I didn't think about it a bit more than that. Do you always fret so much? Um... A bit more than that. I Or say, I didn't even think about it. We were enjoying the time. It went by so quickly, I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Um, you needed a break? I think you're invaluable. Right, well, it's just true. Just a bit long-winded. There's no way we're saying that. I think... We might we might be a little flirty here for a bit. We are the Inquisitor. Uh, she's badass. There's no reason not to flirt a little. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montillier. Goodness, I'm well. I'm I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, not at all. I've taken up quite enough of your time already. Until next time. I don't know how things are going to play out, because we might not get along with people we think we get along with over time, because they might disapprove of our actions so let's say we're keeping our options open maybe that's what i'm looking for oh we had her up to the place too didn't we and speaking of which i like our wardrobe but let's uh switch something else on here i guess we'll go with this one for now uh, i don't know about the little uh 
little thing behind our butts there, but I don't dislike it either. It's something different. We'll roll with it. There was another version of this that's kind of white. We'll, we'll check that out again. Okay, well, oh, we did have a nice conversation with Josephine there. Let's uh, see who else we can find running around. Because they're all around. Now, Dagna, I want to go talk to her just specifically, but what is this one? I forget which way these go. That goes up. You know what? We'll forget. That's uh, Vivienne over here. Our favorite. Everyone's favorite, right? Let's see how she... She's faring over here. Oh, I love her. The candles. The, the whole place is neat. Any new writings or things that I've missed? <laughs> what do you it's say, a noble lady? calling, the Night Enchanter. You have joined the oh. ranks of the most select mages. You should be commended. So few have the discipline necessary. Uh, you're a Night Enchanter. I didn't realize you were I a did, Night though. Enchanter, Vivian. I did realize. Of course I am, darling. Night enchanters serve in the highest echelons of the Chantry and Circle. Where else would I be? Of course. Oh, that was smug. Uh, I'm glad you approve. We are the best. I We are the best. I prefer fighting up front. I'm just going to say I'm glad you approve. I'm pleased you approve of my choice. You have your moments, my dear. Now, what What else? Uh, oh, uh, tell me about the Circle. I wanted to ask you about the Circle of Magi. Of course. Oh. What do you wish to know? I guess nothing. I think we're uh, all set. You know, and truthfully, I don't want to come on to her. Like, as much as I was just saying, oh, yeah, I should, like, start coming on to everybody. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just pretty. These banners are getting up. There's some of our mosaic over there. We have another one somewhere that has another piece. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Know what I'm saying? There's one we found one piece of. We're on our, working on our third mosaic, I believe. <laughs> Oh, welcome. Good. Perfect. Smoldering core. What do you have to say? Anything new? Uh, A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Oh. Here it is. Okay, so that'll be a new one. Um, how are you do doing? What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on the partial improvements to Skyhold. Well, goodbye. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Perfect. Um... What else we got here? Fiona, what's up? I met Loghain long ago, when I was a Grey Warden. Mm. Odd, he should be one now, while I am not. His suspicion of us bordered on the fanatical. It doesn't surprise me you found the Wardens mixed up in all this. From first-hand experience, you should be wary any time my old order is involved. Good to know, thank you. Good. Uh, you were a Grey Warden? We already know that. Didn't we get into this? You were a Grey... I'm going to ask you. You were once a Grey Warden? Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi. The first Warden ever to be kicked out. Quite the achievement. This is a little bit of a different twist on it, isn't it? Um, that didn't bother you. Everything is well. You s and that didn't bother you. There we go. You sound happy about it. Becoming a warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow yeah. cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever okay. could as a warden. So... Um, we're gonna get out of here. I'll leave you to it. I believe, I feel like I already talked to her about all that stuff, and it really kind of makes me mad, because, damn it. <laughs> like, literally, word for word, that she had cheated death, and I don't know. Good, Dorian, though. This isn't, this is new. <laughs> Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius' son. He went to the Magisterium stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. All right, Felix. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The blight caught up with him. Oh, well, I'm glad he's not in suffering anymore. I'm sorry for your loss. Sad, but not surprising so quickly. I'm tell him sorry for your loss. That was your friend, wasn't it? Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. It doesn't mean you can't regret his death. Right. I know. 
Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Uh, oh, why is it any of our business? But I guess since it's an option, we'll ask if, he, if they were involved. Were you more than friends? Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No. I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. Well, then, that, then why wouldn't it forget seducing? Maybe, you know, Felix fell in love with you or something. So who knows? It, it was worth the question, I guess. But um, what about yourself? You, you might be idealizing or idolizing him or uh, follow his example. Uh, what about yourself? You're, you're pretty cool, Dorian. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. That's what we want to hear from him, at least. Very well. A better person, clearly, not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Oh, oh. Who else would he be talking about? And I'm sure we already read that, didn't we? Acquire, acquired Way of the Necromancer. Oh no, this is a new one. It is. Totally, because he had his book there if we would have had them necromancy, right? So, from more Talatasi for the living, the dead, the words of Speaker Vias and Axis make one passage stand out. We are of this world, and as with any peace that seeks to leave its element, there is a void when we abandon the mortal. It must be that this would hold our returning to the Maker. It must be that we should seek balance. It must be that the Maker's first children aid the second. An account. Breath ceased on the hour exactly. We felt his absence in that moment and were, we, and were ready. It was gentle and all were calmed by the signs of spirit entering. And interesting, we just were talking to him about death and Felix too, and now we're talking about necromancy, but signs of spirit entering, knowing there would be no chains on their loved one. Unfettered, he would find the side of the Maker, but that was not the training for the battlefield. I had heard the accounts and knew my role, and I was ready. Then our warriors signaled the charge, and I was, and I was not ready. Breath was not stilled by the hour and was not gentle, and I was sore afraid. Then the enemy countered, and I saw blades come from the good men whom I had stood beside, and I would not allow it. The dead who had fallen, I bid their forms to serve, and it was the turn of our foes to know fear, but I had peace. For I had granted the fallen greater purpose, and in doing had honored life by protecting it. Detailed ritual instructions below, but we can't go down. Interesting. Oh, we have an exclamation point, too. Hmm. Oh, this has got to be down below or up above. Down below or up above. Well, let's go up above first, because we still have to talk to them. Who are you? We already talked. One day I'm going to read all these books. One day, when I have time. Okay, fine. So, we have Leliana. We've already examined, I think. It's weird that I am going to end up uh, missing things, because they're going to add books back to places that we hadn't been. But we'll do pretty well. Uh, I guess we're going to talk to Leliana before we hit that exclamation point. You've joined a fellowship with a distinguished history. Night enchanters have long served the divine. I chose this for that reason. Um, oh god. We're missing one of those? I didn't do it to serve. We're missing one of those. What, the divine? Alas, we are lacking one at the moment. Indeed. Sorry. It's alright. I was thinking it even as you said it. Right. But no matter, you have chosen well and are in good company. I had friends who were night enchanters, who served at Justinia's side, who died with her. It's good to see new mages keeping this flame alive. You must miss her, yeah. The Divine's Best. death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia yeah. was such a dear friend and there were so many things going wrong. 
Uh, tell me about it. Does anything ever go right? Best not to dwell. Tell me about it. What was happening? Talk. Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was there when the hero Ferelden defeated the Archdemon. Yeah, you we were. We won the day, and I thought the Maker smiled on me. When the Divine requested my help, I went to her. I owed her that much. I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now Justinia is dead. I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't need to apologize for having emotions. Let's not speak of it. You're, you still get things done. I'm no apology. Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset. I understand. Thank you. Now enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. Any updates, right? Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause. Others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. Okay, well I feel... I'll leave you to your work. Maybe she has other updates, maybe she doesn't. But let's... We parkour around. I'm gonna parkour out. Do it. Oh, God. <laughs> My... My uh, stomach kind of dropped with that. That was fun. I'm going to come up. I think it, it's got to be in here. It's either first floor or underneath us. Oh, there she is. Mother Giselle. Mother Inquisitor. Giselle. My Lord Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions. The Tevinto. Ooh, Dorian. Uh, what has he done? Uh, don't like him, do you? Bad news? I'm going to say, uh, don't like him, do you? Is that a note of distaste I detect, Mother Giselle? I admit his presence here makes me uncomfortable, Inquisitor, but my feelings are of no importance. I have been in contact with his family, House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? Carinas. I was doing Car Carinas? Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're... Am I familiar? They're not on good terms. Uh, we've never met. Why are you in contact? I'm going to ask why she's in contact. Why exactly would you be contacting Dorian's family? I didn't contact them, Inquisitor. They contacted me. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... Oh my god. Well, this is... Um, I'm not going to trick Dorian. I'll think about it. Investigate. Uh, is this legit? Are you sure this isn't some kind of trap? I mean, the secrecy. That did occur to me. What if it is a plot of those mages, the Venatori? Another reason to put this in your hands, Inquisitor. I pray that isn't the case. But if it is... You are far better equipped than I to respond to such treachery. Oh, man. Um, what else do we have? What kind of meeting? Just what kind of meeting do they have in mind? I believe they just want to talk, to understand why Dorian felt he had to come here. Somewhere private, away from Skyhold, but not in Tevinter. You make them nervous, I think. They don't understand why he's here with the Inquisition. They want him to come home. Okay, and if he doesn't agree, a worried parents, and you want him gone. Oh, uh, and if he doesn't agree? What happens if Dorian doesn't agree? Hopefully that will be the end of it. If not, well, that's why you should be there. Okay, um, I'll think about it. Oh man, I, I don't want to trick Dorian. If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family. Oh, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. Okay, so here's the letter, right. Optional, speak to Dorian about the letter, or bring Dorian to the Gull and, ta and Lantern. Um, oh, let's see here, so... Official looking a letter, your reverence. I understand that you feel inadequate to the task of bringing Dorian to a secret meeting. 
Even in the asking, I find it difficult to believe myself. Considering my son has rebuffed all contact, this is the only way. I know him. He would be too proud to come if he knew. Even just to talk. That is all we wish to do. The thought of Dorian in the south placing himself in the path of such danger alarms us more than I can express. If this somehow succeeds, we have a family retainer at the Vandral Hills watching for Dorian's arrival. He will bring the boy to us somewhere private. If Dorian utterly refuses to go with him, it ends there, and there's nothing we can do. We are at our wit's end. Graciously yours, Magister Halward of House Pavis. Now, um, are we kind of weighing his family and the Tevinter hearing that we're good people and like that we, that we're not just like screw, you know, all of them. Um, damn, man. Damn. Uh, where the hell was he? He was up top here. I think no matter what, we have to go see him, right? If we want to do this mission right now. Okay. I'm told you have Alexius researching magic for you. Mm -hmm. Research is always what made him happiest. Perhaps I'll even go talk to him eventually. One word of advice. If he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems, give it a pass. Uh, tell me about Alexius. How about that? You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption. How we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why? Right. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a Darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while and then we drifted apart. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you mean you argued? You both gave up. I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. That sucks. That man. must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Uh, did you miss him? I think you felt guilty, but you followed him. We'll keep it on the, on the nice end here. Was it hard being away from him? It we was like hard Dorian. not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's fallen so low, I doubt he'll ever get up. Sad, really. So here's the deal. Do we tell him about the letter or do we don't? Or, like, maybe I'd be doing more for him by secretly having him connect with his family, but at the same time, it's kind of not my business. I mean, he's straight up with us. He saved us from the time loop. He took us... Like, I don't want to start lying to the guy and manipulating him. He's like one of our go-to dudes, and... Uh... Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? I didn't read what that a said. A humorous proposal <laughs> from I want some Antivan but... dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father. I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is <laughs> so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinta. Um, would he do that? It could be a venatory plot. I won't let him. Um, would he do that? Um, would he? Uh, I won't let him. Let's say that. That would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. Good. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. Okay, um, let's go. You should talk to him. There's no point. What's the issue between you? There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, 
No, I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. All right. Um, there's no point. Let's go. I I still think you should talk to him. I think in most situations you should talk to people because you're going to regret it later. And it'd be better, you know, talk to him and even hear his side or say this, tell you to F off, do whatever. But I think you should meet with this retainer. Find out what your family wants. I didn't ask what you thought, did I? Nope. That was unworthy. Yeah, I because we came in, we told you what was There'd up There'd be here. no harm in hearing what this man of my father's has to say. If I don't like it, however, I want to leave. Uh, your family's reaching out. I doubt you'll like it. I'm going to say, uh, fair enough. That works for me. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. I don't want to yet start talking to him about, uh, oh, your dad's reaching out to your so-and-so. Like, he doesn't need to hear that. I don't know anything about it. You know, I'm just on a, on a core level here. This is your family. You only have one family. Um... Let's do it. Bring Dorian to the Golden Lantern. The Golden Lantern is here, correct? I believe it's just outside. Awesome. Well, this is a fun little side quest. We see Varric there we gotta talk to. Let's check our map here. Where? Do do do. I have to take Dorian to the Golden Lantern? And where is the Golden Lantern? Maybe I'm mis me uh, messing this up. Uh, where is the Golden Lantern, though? So, Mother Giselle passed along the letter written by Dorian's father. Dorian may wish to read it, but it may be best just to take him to the tavern to sort this out. Well, I thought... Is that it Inquisitor. right here? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. This person's going to be here. Or Dorian Krem... Oh, Samson's tail. Samson, raise your of shame. Oh, we're checking this out for a minute. Samson's letter caught, left on That was awesome. I'm looking around at the people here. We got Krem. We've got Iron Bull. And I'm wondering else who else we have here. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. What? The tale of Sir Pounce a lot, huh? Pouncing? Some little pouncy cat. Oh, have we gotten this? Sarah's. Oh, this is Sarah's spot. That's crazy. Okay. So I'm gonna have to adjust that. Sarah's Cabinet of Wonder, whose it was, delivered one cabinet suitable for a lady's curiosities. If resources should be spent on such things, Sir Morris. Below, a comment in journal entries by Sarah. Also, doodles of Sarah with her tongue out. Eat it, Morris's. Uh, stuff needs a place. Stuff. Banner. Circle soft. Lizard. Scratched out. Rough and weird. Holla. Fake. Real ones stink. Cards. Little worlds. Goblet. Fancy cup. Cup. Shit goblet. Bottle. Warden. Strong. Bottle. Tevinter. Piss weak. Stupid sword. There's a small blood stain. Silk bolts. Not arrow bolts. Soft. Make something. I think that minstrel Meriden is chatting me up. The song is creepy. <laughs> yes. Hey you. I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Resources are precious. I'm listening. Details first. I'm going to say I'm listening. All right. Let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a Red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up, 
So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through? Just walk through. Easy, right? All right, all right. Um, who told you about this? Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal, angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger ears, I guess. Shut up. Right, um, who would I be working for? Who is asking for this? It's... I'm asking, because I yeah. heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. What's in it for me? What does the Inquisition I'd... get out of this? Good Pete Nobles helping people. Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. Okay, um, I'll have some people take a look. All right, Absolutely. Sarah. It's fine. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Uh, that's 100% true. So, uh, good, we got that mission there. Getting serious I, about main it. stuff. Magic. Things. Oh. How about... How about not so much? Just asking for not so much magic. Great, yeah? Uh, you don't fit the Inquisition. Tell me about your background. Why did you really join Investigate? Um... Thoughts on our progress, our allies, concerns about my magic use. There we Do go. Do you have any worries about how my magic is developing? <laughs> really? You have to ask what's so bad about the magic stuff. I mean, that weirdy talking about night whatevers. Night enchanter. Ah, Battle fun. magic. Not helping. I don't understand that stuff. It's scary to anyone smart enough to think for a second. You shouldn't be scary. You're the Inquisitor. Uh, why are you frightened? What has you girl? so scared? You really don't know. Most people are scared. I mean, there's lots of mages here, but most never see one. Never. You're weird, and I know you, so you're not scary. But lots of people don't know you. I don't want you to be just a scary mage. I'm gonna mess with her, not even a little, for fun. Don't be silly. I'm not that scary. Oh, ha ha, real funny. Fine, I'm fine with it. Be scary and a shit. <laughs> um, c carry on. Tell me about your background. We'll go. Tell me let's about yourself. Little. What about me? Who trained you? Where are you from? All this stuff. Man, let's get into it. How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over. Okay, fine. Denimrim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. Did... I mean, in the other games, we heard of Red Jenny, but I don't know that... Red Jenny is a term for everybody, so we don't know that we actually encountered Sarah, but I don't know, maybe I'm just misremembering, maybe if I got into the details, we did in some way. Or not not this person, obviously. Uh, no ties worth mentioning. I can make evasive jokes, too. Don't keep secrets. You're going down the middle. I can make jokes, too. Oh, you're from wherever. I'm from North Wherever. What? North Wherever. Oh, we had fun on street and or in local tavern. Oh, hardy ha. Oh, funny you. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. All right. Well, um, you're different for an elf. Uh, who trained you? Let's You're say skilled. That first. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. By the way, I say it again her room is awesome i love the plants i love all this just this little uh kind of nook here with all the glass it's awesome um what i picked it up mo mostly it's not like that for you i didn't just pick it up not typically only when i'm boasting are you serious um uh do 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 only when i'm boasting would we'll play oh, it up with her certainly not a day's effort for the naturally gifted like us well it's not like that it takes work a bit not like cullen and his pets I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Huh. Is it an elf thing? <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. 
Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? <laughs> Funny. Uh, you're different for an elf. You're not like most of the elves I've met. Thanks, What's that right? mean? Or was that an insult? I suppose I could go barefoot and whine more. Like that Solus, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. Interesting. Uh, there's no value in tradition. Or you're saying, get over it? Uh, just throw it all away? Uh, I'm going to ask about the value in tradition, though. There's a lot of tradition there. Should it just be thrown away? Your great-grandfather's dead. Why aren't you dead? You're throwing away tradition. That makes sense to you? None of it does in the city. That's why I'm not like an elf. Well, very good. We'll talk later. If you say so. If I say so, maybe. Um, now I can't... I'm trying to jump. Nah, Luminati get out of here. and Wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. Uh, why did you really join? Tell me about your friends. We're gonna get out of here for a minute. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. I feel like she might have more to say, but I'm just... I'm I'm gonna move. We, we've discovered some things with her. I still understand. I can't remember if this is the Gull and Lantern or not. Oh, it looks. Oh, there's coal. All right. The music though is just jamming, jamming, jamming. Let's talk to Cole again though. Roderick was sorry before he died. Oh, Roderick died. Um, yeah, but he was awesome, didn't he? He he hooked us up. He showed us the back way out to get through. Uh, sorry for what? Don't speak of him. I'm glad to hear it. Sorry for what? Did he tell you why he was sorry? Blood everywhere. Monsters, madness, dying. We're all dying. The Herald stands against it, and heads turn. Desperate and simple, pure. Voices in the Chantry. Years since I'd sung the song and felt it flowing through me. But this is real. This is real. So long since I'd felt it. Falling, flying, faith. And I fought him. Make her forgive me. I hope I did enough. Aw, that was super neat, though. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Uh, you've done odd things. Goodbye. Who? What? Uh, talk about how you think. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. Yes. Um... It seems a sad way to be. Explain the helping process. You think you think about our friends? Uh, what do you see in me? Let's go with that first. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, you reach across. Mindful meaning. You pull it through to this side. Make it real here. And past that... The weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight, you are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. No. Uh, explain your helping process. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something, food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack, fixed, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Uh, it seems a sad way to be. Well, I, it's relevant, I'm sure, but you think about our friends. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear, makes me a person, calls me kid, a friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, Solus, but somehow sorrows. It must be sad, feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? That's awesome. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? How do I know? 
yeah, they always say take it for granted. Uh, let's loot. Have you seen How'd I miss that one? Fun. All right, now where am I off to? I'm just kind of, I mean, we're going to work all this out anyway, but, uh, let's see what, ooh. I've been through here. It's just a different way of coming. Got it. Let's parkour our way through. Oh, yeah. Um, there's Cassandra. We might as well just, like, keep talking to people, and then I'll figure out what's going on with this golden lantern stuff. Ooh. So there's plenty of things to set up here. You knew where Hawk was all along. Yeah. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Uh, stay out of it. Intervene. Um, I'm intervening. Hey, enough. From all You're of you. taking his side? I said enough. We needed someone to lead this inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. Uh, Varric's not at fault. Cassandra, back off. What's done is done. Varric, you bastard. Um, oh, Cassandra, back off. What's, how do we say, uh, well, Varric isn't a bastard. She'd probably be dead. Um, Varric's, what's done is done. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept, what, that the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he, that he. Took away your friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Wow. Uh, that's unfair, Cassandra. She's hurt, though. I don't want to call her out. I'm well aware. Varric earned his place, and he has... We just need to work together. You guys need to calm down. We're being Attacking good Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly! <sighs> and you better not be keeping anything else from us. Right. I understand. I don't want to let Varric off either, but... We can't have everybody all pissed off at everybody. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just... Go. You don't know that anything would have been gone differently. Aww. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand, but I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we oh. needed Hawk. There's a real, yeah. Real guilt. I'm such a fool. Aw. Um, what if it had been different? We need to do better. We're all fools. Don't blame yourself. Good thing I still like you. I'm serious. You think I'm not? I want you to know. I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden... The Maker wouldn't have needed to send you, but he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Hey, there's some wisdom. All right, well, that was crazy. Let's talk to her again. There's got to be more going on. Oh. So much. So Something much. in particular you require. Am I intruding? Touchy, aren't we? Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna say, uh, am I intruding? I see I'm intruding. I'll be on my way. No, wait. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Sika Lucius. Indeed, 
I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Ooh. Uh, couldn't they be dead? Well, I mean, that's us putting a little bit <laughs> a happy face on it. No. Uh, this is important to you. They might be allies. What's the point? Couldn't they be dead? Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. Uh, what if they're infected? But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Okay, uh, this is important to you. What's the point? This, yeah, sure. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. Let's find I out. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Absolutely. Perfect. I'm also remembering the Gull and Lantern. I'm thinking Red Cliff. That was the other place that there was a big bar. Now, um, we talked to Josephine. We could talk to her again. But I just feel like... Let's go talk to Varric. He's right here. Lots of great cutscene animations on this one. Are you alright? She's calmed down. No more secrets. I need to know. Here. We're I got it. a little heated. Are you all right? Well, that depends. Side. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. Uh, Hawk should have joined so sooner. Talk to Cassandra. Choose a side. I believe you. You knew about Corypheus. But he didn't know that Corypheus had anything to do any of this. I'm going to say talk to Cassandra. I bet Cassandra regrets how things went back there. You should talk to her. I appreciate that you're trying to keep the peace, but things between me and the Seeker are as good as they'll get. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. Perfect. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. He, and he did it without uh, me having to, like, just go after him. You know what I mean? Corypheus is back. Oh, shit. There's a lot of convos going on here. Uh, what is he? Let's go with that. You said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. Uh, you beat him before? It's not that bad. We need a battle plan. You beat him before. If I, you and Hawk defeated optimistic. him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. Ooh. How did you find the prison? Right. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. We tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains, of course. It turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. All right, uh, we'll find a way to kill him. I hope you're wrong. Everything dies. Um, uh, we'll find... Nothing is unkillable. I'm not so sure about that. Do the things in the Fade really die? Maker's breath, what have I let loose? This isn't your fault. I think you're confused. It doesn't matter. It's not your fault, and he didn't do it. You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carta to that ruin, 
But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you're fine. We're gonna talk to him one more time. Just double check. Killing it. Uh, I can come back later, fighting and losing battle. Hold on. Is this a bad time? I can come back. No, it, it's all right. Bills are really not that engrossing. Ah. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. He wants to be part of the cult now? Uh, just do what I do. Just be my friend. Uh, I'm just like you. Make it up as you go. Just be my friend, man. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. Sure. Um, right, but what I am to them, what am I to you? Um, how about, uh, what am I to you? What am I to you, then? None of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Oh, we did. Uh, I'm still me, though. Please don't sing. Uh, this is giving me a headache. Please tell me you aren't going to burst into song now. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Hell yeah. And some drinks. Let's go have some drinks. Loving it. Okay, we're gonna leave him be for a minute. That was enough. Let's say hi to Solas. The new power you wield. I heard from Cassandra that it is the magic of the Night Enchanters. If I am not mistaken, the techniques descend from those of ancient elven mages called Arcane Warriors. I wonder what they would think to see their magic used in defense of the Chantry. Uh, what are they called? I doubt they were called Arcane Warriors in Elven. The formal name for the techniques you have learned was the Durthena and Nasaline, knowledge that led to victory. Mages who eschewed physical confrontation called it Gilanim Banalvan, the path that leads astray. Ah, uh, what do you know of them? Yeah. What can you tell me about the Arcane Warriors? They were elite guardsmen, serving as bodyguards or champions for nobles, as I understand. Mages who focused on spirits or the Fade might sneer at their physicality, but never doubted their honor. They were the living embodiment of will made manifest, mind shaping the body into the perfect weapon. Okay, uh, they'd be pleased it lived on. I fear they would disapprove. Who cares what they'd think? We'll go, hopefully the thing, they'd be pleased that it lived on in some form. I hope the ancient elven warriors would be pleased to see their techniques survive. I hope so as well. So much knowledge has been lost. Perhaps having something they created carried forward, even in such a different form, would gratify them. Did you need anything else? Uh, I guess. Tell me about your journeys. Yeah, let's go. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Um, tell me about spirits. Tell me Is about a ones? spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walks the fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great for Elden formed, because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. I, I love the stories. Tell me about uh, old ruins. Tell me ruins. about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven tig no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay, the victims of a dark spawn horde. The last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. Crazy. Beautiful. I love it. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I sought them from the blazing light until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Just so much great lore. And we have, is this the book? Because he, 
he's the uh, Rift Mage, right? So this is the final one. Way of the Rift Mage. From Power Bleeds, harness the flow. Your trainer's words make one passage stand out. There are no tomes dedicated to this manipulation. There has been no time for academics, only the practical, and not in a manner that mitigates risk. Power in a raw form has found an outlet, both visible and in ways that only we of arcane proclivity can sense. The risk is great. An account. From this page forward, these are the notes of Thelric. They began as the work of my mentor, Julian, and I will continue in the research she began as she cannot because she is dead. The rift we were examining did not react well to her last investigation. We believed ourselves prepared for a demonic manifestation. We were not prepared for how the energies we expected would be encountered. Well versed in the forces that magic can produce, my senior was surprised by an alteration, a deviance. That which previously had to be coaxed is now a flood that must be staunched. The same amount in different intensity, quick to expose fault in the way it is accessed. She drew too much, expecting resistance. There was none, and her form suffered the brunt. Tread carefully in studies of new matters, for I cannot unsee the end of her. Scattered symbols and sketches follow. Dark. That, you know, I, yeah, I guess I gotta replay this game like a thousand times to do everything, because now I just want to be, well, not really, I could probably just jump around my different mages and try out their different, uh, every, everybody, I guess, has a sampling, right, of these different things, because all my different companions... So I could just go and be them and then kind of play around with stuff. But still, uh, beautiful. Who do we have? We have um, we have Cullen. We have Blackwall. A couple. I remember Bull being down there. Let's talk to Cullen. What's up, dude? It's a nice table. Oh, the, the art in this is great. The little stuff everywhere. I As love. leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You can tell me anything, Cullen. Well, this sounds ominous. Spit it out. out. Um, I, come on. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. Ooh. You stopped. When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. That's some that kit got a rig all laid out there, okay. Uh why didn't I know sooner? But why? You seem fine, but you could die. Um You seem you seem fine, but why didn't I know sooner? Um, I need I need another once you didn't think to tell me this sooner has it mattered I don't know has it after what happened in Kirkwall I couldn't I will not be bound to the order or that life any longer whatever the suffering I accept it but I would not put the Inquisition at risk I've asked Cassandra to watch me if my ability to lead is compromised I will be relieved from duty uh, okay, well, I respect your decision. I don't approve. Fine, just do your job. I trust Cassandra. Are you okay? Are you in pain? I can endure it. Well, I trust Cassandra. Cassandra takes things as seriously as you do. If she has no problem with this, neither do I. I thought you had a right to know. That's cool. The Inquisition's Thanks for us. army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. He's weaker without the lyrium, right? But, you know. Codex unlocked. Confessions of a lyrium addict. Did we really get a new codex? Oh, okay. Well, let's do a couple. What did we get with the character stuff? Is it an add-on? I think it's the uh, Sarah's addendum for Denerim. Sarah claims to have lived in Denerim. Her claims cannot be verified, but seems likely. The alienage there was neither stable nor secure. Many residents of the city fled the region following the blight. Given her nature, Valreo would have seemed rife with targets. Denerim has more than its share of su suspect nobility, but most were rallied against a common enemy, thanks to the efforts of the hero Ferelden. And then, yes, here we go. What do we got? Magic? Which magic? The one we're on, probably. Confessions of a Lyrium Addict. You take it like medicine at first, the Lyrium. Your whole body sings with it, like the Maker's own fire. You're not scared of anything, not even abominations. After it 
even takes away the nightmares. But the ration's too small. If they don't give you enough, your hands get cold. The sky starts to press down on you. Little things slip away, so you have to stay. The senior Templars all have that look, that cloudy look in their eyes. Sign your confession, they said. I'm trying. I can't think of what name to sign. Confessions of an unknown Templar found among Montsamar Chantry records in 8th age, 27 blessed. Crazy. And which tale did we... Oh, it was that song we got, right? Samson's Tale. Love it. Yes. Of a skooma addict? Is what I was thinking, too. Uh, let's pop on down. You know what? There was a trivia guy, too. Somewhere hiding out. We'll have to find him again. Stop following me. Oh. I haven't taken a step. Yet here you are. I just... I don't know what to do. Pain hides behind certainty. Not knowing. Searching is a first step. Okay. Very good. All right, let's uh let's talk Blackwall. Yeah, I got to do a thorough run around here at some point. Find the the next the this, inquisition. This is just it's something to keep their hands busy. Oh, why not? I'm grateful like you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm glad. Uh, what about the wardens? So we have your loyalty. I'm just going to say I'm glad. I don't need to... I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. You That's are fine. who you choose to follow. Oh. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Uh, wise words. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Why follow it all? Uh, I'll say wise words, that's fine. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. Crazy. Uh, Grand Tourney where? Right. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. Okay, uh, what happened? A generous act? No, what happened? Yeah, tell me. How did tell he me help that. you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. A generous act? Why'd why he help you? How about that? He must have wanted something from you to help like that. A pupil, a squire. Someone to teach and to mold. He saw my potential. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. Aww. I didn't need him. Poor guy. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. But we still don't know yet what happened. It all turned out not necessarily uh, better. Regret is useless. Um, not necessarily better. Different doesn't always mean better. <laughs> In this case, I think it would have been better. But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Right on, man. I like the guy. Let's tr talk to him again. Something on your mind? Are, are wardens being corrupted? Varric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. Okay, uh, we need to find them. How's your state of mind all but you? Yes, disappeared. Not you, though. Have I given you any reason to doubt me? I want answer to this. Not when it's founded on rumor. I just need to know if this fool is in your brain. So tell me about the Wardens first. Let's, Let's talk about it. the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. How do you kill an archdemon? Yeah. 
How do the wardens deal with archdemons? The calling's sure more enough, interesting. Sir. Stick it with swords until it stops moving. Sure. Uh, I suppose you'd know. It can't be that simple. Fine, keep your fine, keep your secrets. This is something you can't tell me. I get it. That's just the way it is. Uh, tell me about the calling. Have you been hearing the calling too? I know what Corythius is. He has no sway over me. Okay. Well, wouldn't the others? Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. Got a little disapproval on one, but I I dig it. That was okay. Now we found this one guy over here the last time, the quiz quiz ator. So I'm gonna do a little running around on our way through here. Okay, so I've been just doing a little bit of running around. I haven't been able to find the Inquisitor as if he's around or not. But I did want to get to this requisitions and just see what we have going on here. So, um, ceremonial mortalitasi skull. But what would this do for us? Mortal mortalitasi do not take on apprentices to teach the craft, at least not until... Oh, this would be um, if I want to create this item for or my own specialization. That's kind of weird. Uh, the Fallomire Geological Survey. Uh, the Giant Lure. So this is something that's supposed to give giants <laughs> to lure giants away. And Tome of Rifts. So there's a couple... That was what we would need there. We need three Venatory Tomes. And that's to be able to collect to create this thing. I don't know. You know, part of me here, though, I want that. I'm doing it. I don't know why we would do it, but we're going to craft it. And, uh... So, I don't know that there's any reason, if there's anything we ever need it for. We I might have just waited. To serve. I think that was for necromancy, but I couldn't help but build it. I just wanted to. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm still experimenting. But who else do we have here now? Um, oh, hold on. I want to do a little more running. Stefan finally died. It was mm. a blessing, really. He's been in so much pain since Haven. He was out of his mind at the end. He smiled, said he smelled his mother's turnip stew, and slipped away. Oh, that's yeah. I'm gonna leave that banter in. That's that's sad. But let's talk to Krem. Hey. Not Krem. Why do I call her Krem? Um, Harding, Scott Harding. You know what I'm saying. All right. So investigate. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out there scouting? Haven't we asked her bit. this already? We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> uh, we believe it. So who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... Thing out there. Well, your feet are kind of falling into the floor there. What's been going on? Varric came by to talk. He told me a story about copper marigolds. Okay, well, let's get out of here. I have to go. Copper marigolds, huh? All right. Now, there was, um, where, where the hell's Boo? Just what I, heard. I recall now. He was in the back of the bar here. Just I, heard. I don't want the song to go if we can help it. I want Iron Bolt. Can I help you? Oh, I guess not. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. All right. Oh, just the music is so pretty. Isn't that the one we just heard, too? All right. Well, in that case, guess what? I want to go uh, to a red cliff. Let's see here. There it is, and it's actually marked on the map completely. <laughs> uh, Redcliffe Village, travel location, yes. And we are taking Mr. Dorian. Um, who else would Tevinter stuff? Let's bring... No, I don't care. Let's bring Cole, because Cole's one of my favorites. And for a fighter, are we going with Cassandra? I'll, I need to maybe rotate more, but as we keep going here, I'm going to... Uh, Start figuring out my favorites, I think. All right, let's go. Is this some long involved thing or is it just show up and we have a conversation and that's it? You. We'll find make out. Her make her be with you, make her be with you. Make her be with you, make her be with you. 
Travel <laughs> safely. Time. Everywhere. Travel safely. Maker be with you. Calm down, everyone. It does look nice here. There we are. Nice. Oh no. Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Or does it? They pay everybody off. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Uh, oh, he's telling me that? Just talk to him. Maybe I should go. Uh, he has a right to be angry. Just talk to him, damn it. Just talk. Just you talk. went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. Ah. Uh, well, that is horrible. That's an abomination. And No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where's that? Uh, that? That's what this is about? Give your father a chance, uh, so walk away. Investigate. Um, the company of men, do I have to place two points? Why is it an issue? That's a big concern in Tevinter, then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. We're matching, too. In our clothes, I just... <laughs> uh, so walk away. We'll ask. Company of men, right. I'll need you to explain that. I don't know that Did I do. stutter? Men and the company thereof, as in sex. Surely you've heard of it. Uh, I had a suspicion. Spare me the details. No women at all? Uh, I had no idea. I've done it. And they're done that, dude. Whatever. Um, I had a suspicion. Spare me the details. No women at all? I had no idea. I had no idea. I had well. He's been pretty open about it, and we knew things. So, um, this is not exactly news, Dorian. There we go. Why should it be? Why should anyone care? I have no idea. This display is uncalled for. No, they want it kids, is right? called for. You called for it by luring me here. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, Father. Or had you forgotten? Uh, give your father a chance. That's what this is a Okay. So that's what all this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? What's happening? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. With blood magic? I only wanted what was best for you. Conversion therapy? You wanted the best for you. For your fucking legacy. Anything for that. This is heavy. Uh, you didn't let him speak. Don't leave it like this. Are we done? Let's get out of here. Don't leave it like this. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Was that it? Once I had a son who trusted me, a trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. Go give him a hug. Go give him a hug. What are you doing? And then he's, he zaps out. Wait, no. 
Aw. They got their moment. That's good. He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you alright? Uh, what did he do exactly? Hold on, are you alright? That's the first thing. Are you alright? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but... It's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now. After that whole display. Oh, no, you're fine. Yeah, good things. Uh, you're brave. It was entertaining. Your trouble. You're brave. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. Let's do it with It's you. been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. We do. I don't so know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me, Your Reverence. Oh, that was good stuff. I, we gotta talk to him one more time right now. Oh. What's I... going on here? What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. Uh, because he's Tevinter? There's no need to worry? Yeah, well done. What's wrong with him being from Tevinter, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. I don't know her. Thus, these rumors will continue. Come on, uh, there's no need to worry. Tell me about these rumors. The concerns of the Chantry are no concern of the Inquisition, Mother Giselle. I'm aware of that. You risk, however, not only the Chantry's opinion. And if I asked from where these rumors originated? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. What's she out here doing? If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. You better. The hell out of here. The hell out of here. This guy's been with us. He saved us. Well, that's something. Yeah. Forget her. Uh, this happens often. Are you all right? Um, you can't forget her. But... She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Uh, there were, no, uh, there, on your behalf, there will always be rumors of everything. Why like, should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. Good. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I, uh... Don't speak. I detest confessions, and I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you, against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor, so long as you'll have me. Hell yeah, Dorian. I love it. Uh, where are we at here? That I had no idea that we were going to run into all this stuff in this episode here. But we need to, uh, you know, I'm just going to jump. Boom. Parkour. Inquisitor. They're like, what are you doing, Inquisitor? Like, couldn't I use some magic or something? I want to get into the sunshine. We need to go uh, to the war room now and set up some new stuff. We got a bunch of missions. I don't know. I think I've talked to everybody I want to talk to now here. So um, I think we head out. We have some new adventures after we hit the war room. And we do it all in the next episode.